The hideous loss of life at Pozier conceals a deeper toll. This is British film, never shown to the public. Shell shock is a new and puzzling condition. Severely traumatised young men are regarded with suspicion. Some are considered cowards. He was strapped to a chair and we applied strong electricity to his neck and throat, sometimes for 20 minutes at a time. Lighted cigarettes were pressed to his tongue. We tried many things. Dr. Harley. The medical establishment has never seen anything like this. Plastic surgery is also new. These are clinical photographs of facial reconstruction. Some young men are to languish for the rest of their lives as horrors in hospitals and nursing homes. One in three Australians in the Great War will be killed or maimed. Mabel Gardner's brother, Tom, is in hospital in London. He has become nervy and his back is playing up. Dear Mabel, my nerves are all rotten now, all little ends. But I suppose my health has something to do with it. The weather here is at present very warm. I cannot tell you much news. After the war, Tom Gardner returns to Kangaroo Lake, to Mystic Park. Thirteen days after peace is declared, he drowns alone. Tom's funeral, 11 a.m. Several returned soldiers marched, and everyone was very kind. Mabel Gardner will never stop fighting for peace. In 22 years, she will see her only son volunteer to fight in the Second World War. She will die in 1968, a year when the generation of her grandsons are dying as conscripts in Vietnam.